Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a tutorial course on Synapse Audio Dune 2. This is a software synthesizer made by, you guessed it, Synapse Audio. So this course will be broken into multiple parts, and in this first section, it's going to be a general overview of what Dune is. And then in the next video, we'll dive into the layout and get more in-depth as we go. So what is Dune? Dune stands for, it's actually an acronym of sorts, it stands for Differential Unison Engine. So to describe what Dune 2 is doing with this Differential Unison Engine, you first have to have a general understanding of what the term unison means in a synthesis arena. So in, in music, unison just means two different notes, usually pay, played an octave apart. Well, in synthesis, it, it was this idea that came about with old school analog synths and I think Roland was the first one to come up with the idea where basically you take a waveform, multiply it by creating kind of like this mirrored image of it, and then slightly detune those two kind of mirrored images of the waveform. So you're basically taking an oscillator with a waveform and then multiplying that oscillator's waveform by a, by a number, usually up to eight. If you wanted a really thick sound, you'd go all the way up to eight. And then you have control over detuning the voices of unison with the main voice. So there's a good uh, visual representation here in Dune. So this, this center line right here represents my single voice. I have a saw waveform loaded up. And if I go to up on this little left tab here where it says one and I change this to two, you just saw two uh, little lines appear. Well, if I turn my detune all the way down to zero, we have just a one line in the middle, much like we did, actually exactly like we did with when I set it to one voice of unison, right? The difference in sound though, it just starts to get louder, right? Okay, well now what unison does is when I start to sp spread this detune out with two voices, do you see these two? And if I turn the detune all the way up to 100, they get really wide and far apart. And it sounds terrible, but the uh, detune is just detuning these two vo these two voices in unison, and kind of it, what that does in a musical sense, because this doesn't sound very cool when you explain it all scientific, is it makes it thicker, right? And that's helpful for lead. So if I turn my detune down, crank this this uh, sucker up to thirty two, and now play a chord, we have a really thick sound as opposed to this which is a little bit more boring. And, and this is more interesting. All right, so that's all unison is. Well, Dune takes that idea and basically puts it on steroids. Now with most synths, you have a unison control and I'll even show you. Let's pull up Native Instruments Massive. Uh, if I go to a new sound real quick, and the reason I'm using Massive is to one, throw it under the bus, and two, it's a common synth that we've a lot of us have probably used or heard of. So right now I have a, a, saw, a saw wave, much like we, we started with in Dune. So I'll go back to Dune, and I'll turn this to one, and we'll just have a saw wave in both. Dune, Massive. And it, I just want to point out on a really nerdy level, they sound different, which is awesome. And these are just, you know, straight up saw waveforms. So that's really cool that they sound different. But nerdiness aside, let's go back to what we were doing. In Massive, if I go to my voicing tab here and turn the unison up, let's turn it up to four. Massive will have just gotten louder. Well, it allows you to detune those voices. Right, and I can spread those out with this pan position. Okay, well that's what we did in Dune. But the only controls we get in a synth like Massive, we only get a little bit of control over how those voices of unison are kind of being handled. We get to choose how many voices there are, how spread out it is with the detune, and how wide it is with our stereo field. Well, with Dune, the idea b behind this differential unison engine is it allows you the utmost control over all eight of your voices of unison that you are creating or stacking, and that's over here. 
So without getting too far ahead of, ahead of ourselves, basically what that allows you to do is it allows you to say, okay, I want some of these voices, some of these stacked unison voices to maybe have a different filter or maybe I want to modulate into that because the mod matrix actually allows you to modulate your individual voices of unison. Now, admittedly, this is kind of a, uh, it's a different concept for a synth. No synth has ever used this type of concept for Dune and Dune 2. So it might take a little bit for your head to kind of wrap around that idea because it's a little bit different than, you know, just turning up the unison, turning up the detune, turning up the spread. Like a synth like Silent, that's the controls you get. A synth like Serum, that's basically the controls you get. You get a little bit more control in Serum, but you don't get to modulate, you know, individual voices, which is really cool. So that's the idea behind Dune 2. Now, before we cut away to the next video, I want to point out that that makes Dune a heavy hitter for synth leads for EDM genres. <music> especially for genres like trance and main room. Um, you can just hear how thick this sound is already. So I wanted to point that out because a lot of you guys who are watching this video are most likely into EDM. So maybe if you don't have Dune or you're demoing it and then checking out this course, uh, it is a great synth for genres like progressive, trance, main room, pretty much any genre of current and contemporary EDM. All right, so I'll see you in section two.